Hey programmers, this is the last um, video for the week. Um, I need you to create your database for the project and I've got mine in data directory and the database is called pay.mdb. It's written in Access. Uh, this was created in 2003 Access but it, it appears that 2007 works fine also. And one file that we need is the PRE file. I'm not going to show you the data on it because they're real people. Um, so we're going to go to designer view. And uh, the key is the PRE ID. And he's a number. And um, uh, then you'll need the name. And that's a text. All these other fields you, you really don't need. So you don't have to worry about it. You can type them. You know, if you want to, more power to you. I know I didn't particularly care to enter them all in, but uh, I did for different reasons, because, you know, for other programming that I would want to do. And so let's pull up this index thing. So here's the, apparently I did put in some other keys. Um, I don't think they're being used. I think PRE is the only one you really need. Um, and then the other table is SEG. Now we can look at this data. And you don't have to enter any of this data. The program is going to do it. And here's the design view for you. It's, and the key, the index key, is these first three characters, the PRE, the week, and the SEG. And I'm going to go ahead and click each one so you can see the typing at the bottom. PRE is a long integer. The week is an integer. The SEG ID is an integer. Uh, the in out is a character of one position. The int time, that's inner time, it's a number and it's a long integer. And what it is is second since midnight. The date, that's a date. The completed is a logical. The era is a logical. And the type is a text. Okay, now what are we going to do with these when we get done? We're going to go to, how are we going to get this? We go to the design view to the clock. And I've already got this in because this is the fourth time I've tried this. Uh, so I drag a text box over here. And on the properties, I, I named it Data Text Box 1. And I set some fields down here. I said it was read only, it's true. I said tab stop was false. I didn't have any text in there. And I said visible was false. And then for the um, code behind, we have to put in the string for the database. And that's the time clock one. You can either have it up, or if you double click that blue line, then it'll bring it up for you. So in my load um, procedure, I set this data text box one dot text to the connection. And uh, the user ID is nothing, just do it equals nothing. Do a semicolon. The password is nothing. The provider is microsoft.jet.oledb.4.0. Then you got another semicolon. You got data source equals, and then that's where you give your path. And it's C, mine is C data pay.mdb. And I do want to tell you that this access pay system will work on multiple PCs because. Uh, few months ago I wrote something for uh, and I had it and it was even on Vista too and um, shared I had a shared directory and multiple PCs were getting to the data at the same time so um, just because it's access doesn't mean it's worthless you can do multiple PC work anyway I'm gonna put this string in the description and you guys get busy creating your database and we'll see you next week and start some database work bye